ladies and gentlemen, did my good deed for the year on the weekend. Yep, all cashed up on good deed chips. <laughs> to last me up until at least uh, this time next year. There's only one problem though. I kind of feel a little bit ripped off. Even though I'm chuffed over my good deed and earned the chips, I feel now, after the deed was done, I may not have had to perform the deed to begin with. Which I fear makes me stupid rather than a good citizen. Let me explain. So, I was down at the park enjoying a walk. I know, weird, right? <laughs> I'm one of those people who, do, who does that sort of thing. And there was this man, a really, really old man, hobbling along with his walking stick and a little dog too, you know, with his dog. Also very old. I imagine they, they were the best of friends and had been for a long, long time. Aww. So, they were there in the park walking too, when the dog, you know, stops to do his business. Yeah. Now, at this point, they were ahead of me on the path, so I was walking up to them. And when the dog stops to do its business, the old man turns around and waits and sees me as I'm walking up to them. I see the man pull out a little shovel and a plastic bag thingy, you know, the, the type used to clean up after, you know, a dog's doo-doo. Mm. As I get closer, I witness the man struggle to bend down to scoop up the poop. Feeling sorry for the old frail guy, I get up to him and ask, is everything okay? He replies, <laughs> uh, with a, my joints are playing up and I can't bend over. Would you lend an old man a hand? It then clicks. He wants me to scoop up his dog poo and put it in the bag. Serious? Poop scooping? Me? <laughs> oh, never. I can't. That's disgusting. I have never done it before in my life. I am a cat person. I hate dogs. Does he really want me to pick up his mutt's crap? <laughs> I smile at the old man and let a sympathetic laugh uh, <laughs> and, and start to desperately look around uh, to see if there's anyone else there who you know, might be able to help and might be able to do it for me. Instead, there was no one. No one. The old man hands over the spade <laughs> and the bag. Holding my breath, trying not to vomit, I scoop up and clean up the dog poo. Once the dog poo's in the bag, I stand up and go to hand the shovel ba spadey thing back to the man. To which he just smiles and points to a bin. Are you kidding me? He wants me to put it in the bin too! I look at him again and smile and <laughs> let off a weak laugh, trying to say, this is way too much you're asking me for. Uh, but he just waves his hand and points to the bin. Ah! This is horrible, ladies and gentlemen. But at least I'm doing a good deed and can help the old guy out. So I bin the bag and wipe the spade on the grass to clean it and go back to him to return it. It's there at that point that he smiles and says, Thank you, young man. You have helped an old man. I could have never have done that with my body being so frail. Oh, that was nice of the old man to say that to me. So I tell him that, oh, that's okay and I, and I walk off thinking what a wonderful deed I had, have done. Even though it's disgusting and gross, still a good deed. I get further down the track and then decide to turn around and, and wave goodbye to the old man. Because we've formed a bond, me and the old man. We've formed a bond. You know, I've cleaned up after his dog. I've done a good deed. He's been grateful for it. We've got a bond. I thought I'd better wave. And when I do, here's the catch. The old man crouched down by his dog, giving it a good scratch behind the ear. I have been fooled, ladies and gentlemen. He told me he could not bend down to pick up the dog's poo, but he's now bending down to pat the dog behind the ear. The old man fooled me into doing his dirty work. That sneaky senior citizen, that deceitful dog owner, that cunning... Okay, I won't finish that one. How... <laughs> How dare he lie to me? Uh, saying that he can't bend over because he's too frail to clean up his dog poo. So from this day forth, ladies and gentlemen, I proclaim 
Yes, I proclaim that I will never, ever trust an old person ever again. You are listening to The Troy Murphy Show.